Welcome back to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Always appreciate swinging by the channel and taking that time to watch a video. Uh, this morning, Sunday mornings, at least that's when I'm releasing a video. I'm going to feature one out of Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown Coffee. This here is their Blue Mountain edition, Blue Mountain Blend. So this is a Taiwanese coffee company, and it is distributed by, I believe it's, uh, is it Gemini Foods? Uh, Gemini Foods out of uh, City of Industry, California. That's who distributes it here in the United States. This here is something, Mr. Brown, you can pick up at your, uh, your probably your local Asian market. You probably order it off Amazon. I don't know, Walmart might even have it uh, online to order. But typically, you're going to see these in kind of your Asian markets uh, or Asian market section of your store. And I picked these up at Jungle Gyms in Fairfield, Ohio. I picked up three of them. So for uh, the next few Sundays, I think last Sunday I dropped one. And next Sunday I'll probably be dropping uh, another um, flavor of this here. But this is the Blue Mountain blend right here. Blue Mountain is typically like the Jamaican uh, coffee. And it says shake well. So I'll give it a, a nice shake here. It also says it is uh, 100 calories. And they do not list the caffeine on here and it's tough to find it online so if somebody knows for sure they can drop a comment down below there but um this also says let's see here best by august 17th of 2023 what is today today's like february 12th of um 2022 so plenty of life left on this sucker it was just actually produced uh august of 2021 so I guess there's like a, what, a four-year life, a three-year life, two-year lifespan on these things right here. So, uh, interesting. But anyhow, see just the blue can. It does say Blue Mountain on there, but it is tough to read it there. So, I'm going to use my little chalice glass here. Pick this up at a, at a, at a, actually a, a garage sale, a yard sale. I think I paid a quarter for it. I like to use it here when I do these uh, smaller cans. And this is a weird uh, 8.12 ounce can. So that's uh, definitely unusual for us here in the United States. So let's crack this thing open. We got a nice shake on it. And the Mr. Brown character, pretty cool looking character. I think he's like a Venezuelan character that they use uh, on their coffee. So I call these adult chocolate milks with coffee added to them. That's pretty much um, a great description of these because you know what, that's what it looks like. Um, looks like coffee, creamed up coffee, but it always has that chocolate milk uh, flavor to me, that chocolate milk um, body and mouth feel that I enjoy. So this right here, just on the darker side of some of the coffees that you get here, looks like a darker chocolate milk or a very um, chocolate, maybe a coffee that doesn't have a lot of creamer if you were making something like this yourself. So let's get a drink on this thing. Ooh, this has got that nice, nice uh, coffee flavor to it. So if you've ever had any type of Blue Mountain coffee, um, some of these blends you can definitely, definitely taste. And this here, this Blue Mountain, definitely has um, that distinct flavor there. Get a little bit of a chocolatey mocha-ness to this as well. Um, you know, sweet creamed uh, type of coffee. Hmm. I did the uh, macadamia nut one last week. Uh, that was pretty good. Check out that video on that. But this is pretty solid. Is it as good as... Uh, Duncan or a Starbucks. No, not really. If you like those types, this stuff doesn't compare to that. But it's only like a dollar twenty nine a can or something like that is what I paid for this. Dollar thirty, something like that. Just over a buck and some change. So for the price point, you can't really complain about it or anything like that. So you know, if you're gonna pay something a little bit higher um, for one of the higher end coffees, yeah, it's probably gonna be a little bit better. At least you're paying for the name and then you're happy with that if that's who you are. To me, this is damn good. I give it a thumbs up. I have no problem knocking out this can. And if you heard that that uh, bark in there, um, 
one of the dogs barking a neighbor, probably heard a car or something pull in the cul-de-sac or something like that. But anyhow, like always, I appreciate swinging by the channel, taking the time to uh, check out a video. If you're new, think about becoming a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate you watching, like always.